Hi there everybody and welcome to another video. On today's video I have this uh, Lexus IS250. Um, this is a 2013 and basically I'm going to be changing the battery in it. So to change the battery we need to get the access to the engine bay here. So get your bonnet open. Um, there is a lever inside of the car you pull to release the bonnet and then you need to you put your fingers under here, under the bonnet, and lit. just move that little flap there to get the bonnet open. Um, once you have your bonnet open, you will find the battery sitting right here. So, uh, one important thing is to make sure you have a radio code if your vehicle needs a code. Because um, if you disconnect the battery, you might lose access to your radio so make sure you have radio code um, otherwise uh, i'm not going to be covering that in this video but otherwise you will need to connect uh, another power supply um, to keep the memory uh, of the radio before removing the battery um, so in this case scenario um, i don't need a radio code and uh, so it's going to be a straight swap however um, after changing we need to fix the clocks um, inside of the car because obviously the clocks will go back to 12 o'clock or something you need to adjust it and also it is very likely that your windows um, will not work with the one touch so as you you press the, you do the one touch and the window automatically goes down that you will need to synchronize uh, again it will be um, resetting uh, the windows one by one in this particular car you have to go to each door and reset it um, that happened to me on another model so i think it could happen to this model as well so let's get on with changing the battery here uh, make sure you replace your battery with the same capacity battery uh, and the same type if you have a start stop car you need to have the correct battery so that is something you're going to get from your supplier by giving them your chassis or your registration number um, i can't really tell you what battery you need for your car so i'm changing the one in this car and i'm concentrating on the battery that is coming out of this car um, so in this particular one, I have a 630 amp, uh, sorry, a 72 amp battery and 12 volts, obviously. And uh, we're gonna need a 10 mil uh, socket or spanner to release this clamp and then to release the terminals. So let's take these little covers out. These covers just pop up. And then we're going to release the 10 mils there. Okay, so I have a 10 mil socket and a 10 mil spanner. The spanner I'm going to use on that there. Uh, but before that, I'm going to disconnect the negative side of the battery, which in this case, it's... Um, I know it's... Uh, Sometimes hard to tell, but there is a little there is a little writing on each side of the battery that shows you the negative and the positive. So I have a positive here and a negative on this side. And uh, we're gonna have a look at that once I remove this, so you have an idea. But we always remove the negative terminal first because if you, for some reason, were to use something like this and you put it on your positive and say you touch a part of the body like a negative part of the body like could be this or something else then you're gonna have a spark because your negative is still connected so once you disconnect your negative then there is no the car is not going to be earthed because that's that's the issue the the earth is basically earthing the car 
and all its, all its parts. So once you have that there, you can then touch that and that and you will get no spark. However, if the negative was connected and you did that, you're gonna get a spark. Um, unless your battery is completely dead, obviously. But uh, you don't want you wanna avoid any sparks or anything like that because they could damage the ECU as well. So let's get this out. That is that 10 mil clamp. And another thing to remember is the battery can be quite heavy. So when you remove it, be careful not to damage your back or anything else for that matter. So you could always get someone to help you lift it if, uh, if you have difficulty picking it up. Right, next we can release positive side. Having said that, <laughs> there's a huge positive side on, on the cover right, right there. Um, if you didn't have the cover, you will still find uh, the positive uh, writings on the battery. Let's get that off. Just get this plastic cover out, and then get a good grip of the battery, and make sure nothing is interfering. Cause these batteries have a tendency to, as you're pulling it, they get stuck on something, and usually it's one of those. And then you you got all your strength set to pick this up, and it gets stuck and then you lose the strength and it has to go back in and then you need to recover <laughs> um, to pull it out again now hopefully this isn't going to be as heavy as some other batteries are like in some Mercedes but uh, again uh, they are heavy so watch your back right let's get this out Okay, that is out and uh, so here's the battery that's the positive sign there and that's the negative there so that's how you could identify it as well and just gonna make sure this clamp is sitting in place as well as that one there uh, you may have noticed that this bit came a little bit loose so you could um, pop it out really um, it might be easier to remove this cover it just it literally pops out it's just clipped on right let me get my new battery okay that's my new battery I'm using a, a banner um, to be fair probably the the Yuasa there is a better battery um, but still, still a fairly good battery. It does last quite a long time. I had a, I had one of these that was five, six, seven years on my car uh, with no issue. Eventually it died, but I, it was because I killed it by leaving uh, the lights on. Um, but uh, uh, they're not bad at all. So I'm gonna get that on. Try to put this back in there and again just uh, make sure there's nothing on the way for the battery to get in there that is going to be getting stuck on because again once you're holding it up here you have all your strength set to fit the battery in there and then it gets 
stuck on something you have to lift it up again and and loose and remove those parts okay so don't want to sound too dramatic on that but uh but believe me, it does help to prepare. <laughs> right, now we can get this cover back on there. Now, let's get the clamp on. Ten mil. You will feel there is a little bit of a spring um, sensation here. So that's just the clamp getting a grip and holding the battery down. So you need to push it down a little bit and then put your 10 mil on there and don't mind the thunder, it's been raining a lot. Um, so we're going to tie this up, we don't need to tighten this too much but secure and then we can connect our positive side again and make sure it's sitting properly in there so you can tap it in a little bit just make sure it's sitting properly in there and then we can tighten the terminal and once you have your positive side in place we can get our negative side on So I guess the only thing you need to make sure is that if you're undoing this with a longer spanner is that you don't touch that side when you undo it or even when you do it when you uh, tighten it unless you put the cover like I did and then we get this cover on clip on there and that's pretty much it As far as changing the battery goes but uh, now you will find that you need to adjust uh, the clock I need to get the key <laughs> okay I've got the key now car starts which is good news um, system is loading because uh, obviously uh, we changed the battery so it's kind of resetting itself and um, the windows so I don't know if in this case right the window is working with the one touch let's check that one there yes occasionally um, 
they might not work with the one touch so in that case you do need to go to each door and uh, hold the switch up for a few seconds and reset each window so each window will uh, be able to open with the one touch right and I just want to make sure the radio is working here yes some uh, I don't know, DAB no signal fair enough just gotta get signal but that is working it's so that is uh, that is working well and now ah Okay, so we have an analog clock here that is reading the correct time, um, although that may have stopped, so I may need to adjust it. Let's just have a look. Okay, so right now it's 3.22, that is reading 2.10, uh, but that was on the saving time. So you can see if you press this button, how you can adjust that clock. So I'm going to put it on 3, 20, no, 2, somewhere there. And I'm not sure there is a actual digital clock on this car. I'm sure there would be somewhere. Might even be here, but uh, anyway, I mean, this is what you have to do if you change the battery. You really need to um, get all your settings back on as normal. So I'm gonna leave it at that, I think, and uh, and that's it. So hope this video helps. Don't forget to subscribe, and uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.